What's up everybody, it's Bryant the Flowhawk. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a SharePoint form or really a form on top of any data source that's in view only mode and have a button that still is selectable and clickable. It's one of those things that if you've run into it before, you know what a headache it can be. And if you've never run into it before, just put this thing in your fanny pack, pull it out when you run into this exact scenario. But here you see on my screen, I have a Canvas app and it's one of those out of the box, start an app from data sort of Canvas apps. And I have a form here that's in view mode. And I have a button that's in that form that I really want to be clickable. And yet when I click on this button, nothing happens. So what's the use case for this? I've created multi-screen forms before and the last page is sort of a review form. And in that review form, I don't want any editing to happen. So I, I create an, a form that's in view mode. I create some buttons that should take them back to the direct section that they can edit if they were wanting to edit that section. However, those buttons are not clickable. And it was one of those things that kind of, I couldn't figure out what the reason is. And then I did. And here's, I'm gonna walk you through the solution to this problem. Okay, I'm gonna hop into the app. Again, standard, create a Canvas app from a data source. And that will create for you a browse screen, which lists all the items in your SharePoint list, a detail screen that will open up one of those items in view mode, and then an edit screen, which will open it up in edit mode. So here I've duplicated the detail screen so I can walk you through what exactly happens and how we can solve this problem. And uh, the form itself will have been rendered in a view mode. Okay, so display mode dot view. And so all of these cards are now inheriting their display mode from the parent. So if I look at this display mode on this card, it's set to, well, it's this set to view actually is, is the case there and it's locked. So what I've done is I've added a button here in the person field and I've put a button in here that I would want to take this thing to edit mode. So let's say it's a very long scrollable form and you want when they get to the bottom to have the option at the bottom to enter that edit mode. And this command is the same as the edit mode icon up here. However, if I look at this button, the display mode for, for the button I have in edit, it should not inherit the display mode of the form. But the problem is when you put this into play mode or publish this into your production environment, the form mode will override this button's display mode every time. So this button goes into view even though the button itself is set to edit. And so I can't click this button no matter what I do. So how do I get around this? Right, and that's the thing that I, I really wrestled with. Here is one solution, okay? One of the solutions I saw in the forums that is very creative is to pull that button out, put it on top of the form. And then if you have to scroll the form, that button kind of stays placed, which if that's an okay solution for you. However, if you want it to move with the form, then you're stuck constructing this big long formula where you say, I want it to sit on top of the person field. So give me the Y value of the person field data card, et cetera. And it, it can be a little bit hectic. This solution I think is easier than the ones that I had seen online. So let's go clicking the form itself, click edit fields. And this is where you would normally add another column from your data source here. And you can also add in a custom card. So custom card is not connected to any column in your data source. And when you submit this form, uh, it, it won't submit anything along with the form's data. So custom cards can be a, a good way to add, you know, I usually add titles or section breaks, lines using custom cards in my forms. And in here, we're going to use this custom card to house our button. So clicking this custom card, I can actually cut this button out of the person field card paste it into my custom data card. And let's say, you know, I'll drag it here into the center. All right, and of course you could set that using the X, Y coordinates, but I'm gonna come click this data card and for the display mode, all of the others were, were set to view. This one I'm going to leave as edit. Now, if I hit play, you know, all of these data cards are clicked as view. This data card in particular is set as edit. And if I click that, it actually will do the action that I want it to take. So simple. The way that we want to go about doing this is to pull the button into a custom data card and set that data card's display mode property to edit.
that will allow us to click that button and make it interactable. So if you're ever in this position where you want an element that's clickable and interactable, you know, sometimes you're setting these labels to be clicked on, or you're going to throw an icon in here uh, with an X or something similar, but your form is in view mode, you will be unable to interact with those items. Simple solution, add a custom data card, set that data card's display mode property to be edit, and then put your interactable elements in there. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully this is something you can carry with you. And when you run into this scenario, you're like the Flowhawk had me covered. Thanks.